Right now, that massive landslide in the city of Westbrook still blocking the Presumpscot River and a state of emergency in that city remains in effect there as state, local and federal officials work to find out how it happened. News Center Maine's Zach Blanchard has been there all day and joins us with the latest. Zach. Well, Amanda, the good news here, that flood risk is no longer. So now experts can get to work to try and figure out just what triggered this slide and perhaps more importantly, how to fix it. A huge gash nearly the size of a football field. It was a massive slide. This landslide in Westbrook now blocking a portion of the Presumpscot River, prompting a local state of emergency. Uh, we're currently probably for the first time in history under two state of emergencies. City and state officials at a news conference Thursday saying fixing it will be a challenge. Continuing to assess this situation, but until we have further details, have not decided or come to a conclusion on what those next steps are. Flooding, though, is no longer a big concern. At this point, we don't believe there is any flooding risk whatsoever. The, uh, the water is flowing through appropriately and managed by the Sappy Dam, the multiple dams upriver. So uh, things, a lot of things would need to happen before there could be any potential danger. Fortunately, no one was injured when the land gave way early Wednesday morning. Officials say a shed filled with salt and sand and some equipment were the only things damaged. As for how it happened, it doesn't fit the usual equation for landslides in Maine. State geologists say they're still working to figure that out, but believe blue clay, also known as Presumpscot Formation, played a significant role. It's possible construction activity above caused the clay to liquefy, triggering a collapse. Really, you can't say for sure until they take some test borings and see what the engineering qualities and the integrity of the material is, is like. And Experts along with the Army Corps of Engineers are being called in to assess the situation. In the meantime, the public is urged to stay away. The area is unsafe. We, we, we highly suggest that people do not attempt to venture down into this area to see the damage. Now, those state experts and the Army Corps of Engineers are set to be here as early as tomorrow to start taking soil samples. One of the possible solutions here would be to dig a small canal through the soil, but they can't even get down there until they know it is safe. Amanda.